Hey there, it's Anonymous T. We're spilled the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. Sending good vibes, good energy, positivity, and blessings to each and every single one of you. So today we are talking about uh, Stormy hanging out with Letitia's mom again, you boys. And at this point, it's like, I'm not shocked. I'm not surprised. Anybody who uses Melody Cherie and then flips the script and calls her an acquaintance and then basically copies what she's doing promotion wise for her brand and then has her mom basically dragging uh, Melody Cherie on social media as well, completely unprovoked and unhinged. I just want to know, you know, what what more is there to do with this point, right? What more is there to do? And I just want to know, Stormy, do you get it yet, right? That how do you think embracing the villain role is going to work out for you? Ask Destiny how that worked out for her. Ask Destiny how being the villain worked out for her exactly on Love and Marriage Huntsville, right? Ask Letitia how it is working out for her being a villain and using Muppets to try to convey her thoughts on a reunion, you boys. Like, like, I mean, at what point it, are we going to stop, you know, trying to hang out with people that, you know, hate Melody Cherie for clout and think that is going to garner you clicks and views and that is going to garner people to, you know, want to support you and want to support your brand and everything else, right? And then after the fact, you know, to kill the noise, you, of course, start to repost, I'm assuming from your um, makeup people, you filming your confessional interviews and everything else for this upcoming season of Love and Marriage Huntsville. But my question again is, what are you hoping to gain? What are you hoping to gain by taking pictures and sharing on social media that you were hanging out with Letitia's mom? right and, and and it's just and it is what it is at this point i don't know why you want to befriend somebody who talks horribly about other people's children and what happens if she does the same thing to you and turns on you and says something really horrible about you how are you going to keep that same energy i just want to know right because anybody who's willing to talk about somebody else's children on multiple occasions and feel no remorse and basically give a half bleep apology just to try to stay on a show for a reality TV check tells me everything that I need to know about them, We are, you know, right? But it's not giving what you think it's giving, right? It's not giving what you think it's giving. All it's giving is it's giving hater vibes. It's giving jealous vibes. It's, and it's like people like that, if you fall out with people, because Destiny started this, right? Once she fell out with Melody Cherie and could not obtain that friendship back ever again, she was like, oh, well, I'm just going to hang out with all the other people who bat talk Melody Cherie. And that's going to make me look good, except for you allegedly may be out of a job, Right. <laughs> Because basically, you made your whole identity now into hating Melody Cherie instead of actually talking to us about you. And I feel like Stormy's next, you guys. I feel like Stormy is next that is going to be the new destiny on the show and make it her whole storyline about hating Melody Cherie. And we're probably going to get clips of her mom saying disparaging and false narratives about Melody Cherie on social media that's going to try to make the show so that they can try to make her phonics unhook 2.0 and and it's not going to fly and once again we're going to be provided little to no information about Stormy's real life you guys because that seems to be the game plan right that seems to be the theme right Let's find ways to take Melody Shree down instead of actually talking about what's going on in our real lives. And that's not going to fly, you guys. It's, it's just not going to fly again. It didn't work for Destiny. This is not going to work for Stormy. So I don't understand, right? I mean, if you love Phonics Unhooked that much, was there a need to post it on social media? You know what I mean? Like, it, it's just, come on now, read the room. And I think that's Stormy's problem. She has not read the room. The entire time she has since embarked on reality TV and still refuses to read the room and thinks whatever she's doing is okay and it's actually causing more madness than need be, right? So there's that. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. 
hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.